for exploring books. You're going to be making your own movers. Helicopters can fly in the air. Wait, does that make you move? Oh, my name is Eli Ponce and I'm a, a fourth grader one from Reed Elementary. I read a lot of books. I like the pictures because they're a lot of details. I like its color and it has words. What have you done for your two moving parts? This is a blade and uh -huh. this is a wing. We're just doing parts of movers on a web because then they will take those parts to create an original mover. We do the creative awareness tools and their fluency, flexibility, originality, and elaboration. So that was just building their fluency and just brainstorming lots of different ideas for them. Could I wait a gin when you're done? Hope you're done already. Okay, thanks. Eli is an amazing student. He is really good about doing exploration at home when we're talking about a topic and he'll come and tell me like new information he's learned at home and then he'll share it with his classmates. I feel like his energy is contagious. Excavators. Can I drive an excavator to school? No. Why not? You'll break it. I'll break it. Because they have the shovel. Oh. I feel like every year I'm kind of changing what we're learning or I'm, I'm incorporating something else based on their interest and like their passions and what they love because I want them to love learning and I want them to love coming here and growing as learners. This is Eli. Oh. He's pretty cool, all right? Me, but this is Matias and Pedro, my friends. Do you know the world is changing rapidly, but I want to point out a couple of things that are gonna be problems that Eli and his friends are going to have to solve at some point in time. It's anticipated that about 400 million jobs, or about 15% of the jobs out there, will be displaced by automation by 2030. I made a robot like a long, like in Quest, but in four more days. It helps me clean up my room. Biometrics are going to become absolutely critical. Biometrics? Uber Air consists of pilotless drones that will transport people from the suburbs to the city. Like so you do a helicopter and you get them, you, you ride someone to, to do a house. Yeah, what do you think about that? Pretty cool. Do you have to do it out of technology? Probably. To make it work? To make it work. Oh. What do you think? You think Why can't I just make a level? to make it work. Do you think you, a lever would be the trick? Yeah. You think so? When Eli graduates in 2034, the world is going to be a different place. So what's it going to take for you to be able to do all of these things? I'll try. I think I have to work each day. Be older. Be you older? <laughs> because you can't use technology when you don't get like very, when you can't create technology. Do you think you could do it by yourself? No. I might need the help of my brother. My teachers help me ask a lot of questions. They then help me do things I don't know what to do. Eli is an amazing leader. He loves to learn. He comes every day just ready, ready to learn. He loves to be challenged. He's part of the dual language program, so we work with partners, and he's a really good partner. Just being seven years old, or being a first grader, and be able to think on teamwork, and be able to think on, yeah, let's solve these problems together, and how can we synergize to, to be a better world, because that's the way they think, and that, that's the way Eli thinks, and that's the way the dual language program thinks, and, and our Leander ISD. How can we do this together? And I, I listen to you, and, I, and we have different opinions, but we listen, and then we get a better uh, solution. They are gonna be doing amazing things in the future, like they are. I believe in them.